Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it's the Isaurian Drone Commander Zen 2. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. I <laughs> hope I didn't butcher it. Uh, but this is for the Isaurian race uh, in the game Beyond the Gates of Antares, a 28mm sci-fi game that I'm fairly fond of. Uh, this character here is especially important in the Drone Scourge Return Supplement. Uh, that came out recently. Um, it's a pretty cool model. I'm glad I have it. Uh, I have uh, quite a bit of Isaurians gathered up and those forces so I can play those scenarios. It's pretty awesome. So let's open it up. Let's take a look at it. It's a pretty cool kit, just like most of the Isaurians are pretty awesome. I'll get a zoom in there. That's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty awesome. That's just unreal. These, these Isaurians, this biomechanical look, I really love it. And I can't wait to play around with the colors. Um, I'm really thinking of doing some sort of uh, dark brown um, dark brown scheme. They're, they're, usually, they're black and orange, I've noticed. But I, th I think I'm going to do a dark brown and a real bright green. I think, that, uh, I think that's going to work out for these guys. Um, you get a flight stand. Of course, we get a big base. Big 40 mil round. And there is what it looks like the... The tail. Yeah, that's where the little spikes come out of. Speaking of little spikes or sensors or whatever you want to call them, that's these right here. Just a very cool, different, you know, plant-like, machine-like uh, look that this thing has. And it's just, it's just pretty awesome. And you got to have the commander um, for the Isaurians. Uh, he's a pretty big character in the new one, in the Drone Scourge book. So, uh, I'm going to be fighting some Viri. Uh, won't, won't come off of here. I'm going to be fighting some Viri, so I'm going to need him. <laughs> and uh, all the other guys. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you the tools I normally use to build things. And uh, after that, I'm going to put this together in its entirety. And then we'll come back and I'll, sh I'll tell you guys how it went together. Uh, and uh, what it looks like when it's finished. So, I'll be back in a sec.
All right, there you go. There is <laughs> the Isaurian drone commander, Zan, or, yeah, Zan 2. Or 2, yeah, 2. Zan 2. Got his sensors on the front. Looks pretty awesome. Just real easy to put together. You put the back piece on, put your flight stand on, make sure it's good and secure. Glue this piece, give it some time to dry. Glue your front head piece on there. Uh, uh, hold it there for quite a bit, make sure it's secure. And then with these little spindly deal deals, glue them in and uh, very you can very carefully bend these uh, in a direction that you want it, which I was gonna bend this one since it looks so familiar, uh, similar to this one here. I was gonna bend it to the side very carefully. Just do a little bit at a time. Don't, don't stress it out like I just did and pop it off. You just, you wait till they're completely dry before you do that. <laughs> but uh, real easy to get to put together. Um, these commander drones are pretty awesome. Uh, this Isaurian one is just phenomenal looking. Can't wait to paint it and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and I'm gonna be painting this this uh, Isaurian force pretty soon because um, uh, the, the uh, Drone Scourge returns booklet that goes with it, or, or well, uh, the uh, supplement that just that uh, just came out not that long ago, um, has the commander in it. So, uh, and the Isaurians, and it seems like them, the Isaurians and the Concord play a pretty big deal, or a pretty big deal. Um, anyway, it's not wanting to stay in there now. Let me get some more glue. But anyway, um, the only troubles like I had, I, I really didn't have any troubles uh, all I can tell you to do is make sure you glue in the, the glue the stand in first, along with the main body in the back here. I, well, let me grab it in the back here. You could also bend these two very carefully before you even put them back on. Uh, there we go. Well, it takes a minute for the glue to adhere, and see that's much more flattering then uh, curled up like that one. So, uh, and you can bend these, like I said, very carefully, put very little amount of pressure, get it exactly where you want it, uh, and then uh, leave it alone. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna have some still shots of this uh, right, after, right after this, and uh, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do, please tell a friend. Please spread the word for me, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and last but not least, from me to you, Ta-ta! And we'll catch you in the next video.